It is quite obvious that almost no consumer tech company isn't looking into developing augmented reality glasses. But with such a new technology, some companies are much further along in developing what they consider to be the future of computing. The two companies at the forefront of developing and releasing augmented reality glasses are Apple and Facebook. Both of them see the future of their company in the form of AR glasses. Experts in the field expect, similarly to the way the Apple's iPhone managed to beat out the likes of Microsoft and Nokia, that the first company to bring a decent AR device on the market, may dominate for the next decade. Welcome to today's episode of AI News. In this episode, I will show you the most recent news regarding the AR products which Facebook and Apple are working on, why Facebook might actually do the impossible and beat Apple's hardware, and finally, what this could mean for the future of society. After two years of speculation regarding the debut of Facebook's smart glasses, the social media tech giant has officially announced that its newest hardware and first hardware focused exclusively of AR, is about to get on store shelves. For the forthcoming gadget, the firm has collaborated with premium sunglasses and eyewear manufacturer Ray-Ban. There is now a teaser page up on Ray-Ban's website, bans with the ability to sign up for further information. Nothing is known about the specifications of the soon-to-be-released Facebook and Ray-Ban spectacles. Earlier this year, Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg announced the relationship with the brand during the 2021 Q2 Facebook earnings call, where he said that he was looking ahead here, and that the next product release will be the debut of their first smart glasses from Ray-Ban in cooperation with Essilor Luxottica. The glasses have a distinctive shape and allow you to perform some really cool things. He's thrilled to get them into people's hands and to continue making progress toward full-fledged augmented reality glasses in the future. At that time, he had not divulged anything about the smart glasses specs or the functionalities they will offer. Zuckerberg is betting big on AR and VR use cases in social media, as well as the much larger goal, to help build the metaverse. It is a virtual environment in which you can interact with people in virtual spaces. Facebook's Horizon Workrooms was the most recent addition to this metaverse. It was released just a month ago as a virtual reality remote work app that allows users of the company's Oculus Quest 2 headsets to hold meetings as avatar versions of themselves. Apple's rumored AR glasses are designed to rely on another device, and may be forced to offload more processor-intensive tasks to a connected iPhone or Mac. Apple is reportedly working on a custom chip for the glasses, a SoC that lacks capabilities found in Apple's other processors on purpose. While the new chip is said to lack Apple's neural engine, which handles AI and machine learning, it is said to be better than traditional chips at wirelessly sending and receiving data and compressing, decompressing video, which makes sense if the headset is designed to stream data from another device rather than doing the heavy processing itself. It's designed to be as power efficient as possible for maximum battery life, which could be helped by removing unused parts of the chip and streaming data from another device. There has always been a delicate balance between battery life and performance, capability and wearable technology, such as a watch or a pair of glasses. Many tasks were delegated to a connected iPhone by the original Apple Watch, though Apple was eventually able to make its onboard processor powerful enough to handle many of them. If the idea of Apple's headset requiring a separate device sounds familiar, it could be due to a popular Bloomberg report back in 2020, which stated that earlier versions of the headset were intended to work with a separate stationary hub, which in prototype form resembled a small Mac, until Joni Ives stepped in to say that it should be self-contained, and Tim Cook sided with his design chief. IFE no longer works for Apple, but that doesn't mean the company will return to a bulky or stationary hub. According to the information, the AR headset still has its own CPU and GPU inside, implying that it could communicate with a phone or tablet or even work in a basic standalone mode. Some of Apple's devices, like the Apple Watch, can still perform basic tasks in low battery mode. Apple glasses aren't expected to be available as soon as Facebook's offering, with some experts predicting the gadget won't be available until 2023, but there are conflicting claims that the firm will release a mixed reality headset much sooner. Facebook new smart glasses on the other hand are just about to release. But there's one important thing to remember, these are smart glasses, and not augmented reality glasses, which means that they won't feature a display. Which, given the project's original promise, appeared to be a letdown, 
but Facebook likely has to build product lines and production, as well as assess demand for its smart gadget, as part of its development. Ideally, that would still contain or enable AR functionality in the future, but perhaps this is the only path ahead for the project, and the only means to evolve into the next level. But, as previously said, why should customers worry when they can already purchase Snap Spectacles, which offer the same functionality? In this sense, Facebook will be aiming to utilize its size to promote take-up of its smart glasses, with the direct link to Facebook and Instagram, rather than Snapchat, providing the enticement that will entice consumers to purchase the new item. At the same time, you can already anticipate a privacy backlash, with a new conspiracy on the horizon about how Facebook is tracking what you're looking at through the glasses and serving you ads for things you've seen, or how Facebook is recording video without people knowing and then storing it for nefarious purposes. None of these theories will be correct, but Facebook will undoubtedly need to brace for the worst, with the launch set to raise a new set of concerns for Facebook's PR team, sparking a whole new side story about Zuck and Co's global takeover plans and how using such devices will jeopardize your liberty. Perhaps this is why Facebook is eager to release the first iteration so that it can begin to counter public perception now, so that when it does have fully functional AR glasses ready to ship, it will already have solid processes in place, and the initial concerns about such will have died down, paving the way for optimal take-up. In terms of what the headsets and glasses will really accomplish, the CEOs of Facebook and Apple have long lauded AR and how it would revolutionize the way you work, play, interact, and learn, as well as allow people to have more meaningful discussions. Aside from that, we don't really know what type of AR features or interface the firm intends to add. Without it, it's difficult to predict if the devices need to offload work to something else as destined to be a quirk of early versions or a design decision that will last for years. Amazon has a smart eyewear line as well, However the Echo frames lack visual capabilities and instead allow consumers to access the Alexa speech assistant. It's unclear whether Amazon will do anything else, but there's something to build on if Facebook and Apple's bets pay off. Perhaps this is why Facebook is eager to release the first iteration so that it can begin to counter public perception now, so that when it does have fully functional AR glasses ready to ship, it will already have solid processes in place, and the initial concerns about such will have died down paving the way for optimal take-up. Whatever the rationale, it appears like the first edition of Facebook's smart glasses will be released this week, marking the beginning of the next stage of digital connectivity. Facebook Reality Labs. And that's because this work, to build the next computing platform, to deliver that sense of presence and immersion, and to make it the best platform for connecting with people you care about, that work increasingly requires us to extend beyond just our, our Oculus or all of our augmented reality and virtual reality efforts, which we are calling Facebook Reality Labs. The goal here is to develop some normal size, nice looking glasses uh, that you can wear all day and interact with holograms, digital objects and information uh, while still being present with the people and world around you. Maybe you wanna just sit on your couch and have a friend teleport and have their hologram sit right next to you to play games or just talk or hang out. You know, maybe you're walking somewhere and you want directions or you see something awesome and you wanna share it without having to take out your phone. Maybe you don't wanna to have to carry your phone around at all or have to worry about having it take you away from the moment. You're gonna be able to do all of this with a pair of glasses. Now there's still a lot of work that needs to be done on some of the foundational technologies. So what is your opinion on the battle between Apple and Facebook in the emerging field of augmented reality hardware? Who do you believe will come out victorious? Do you think that augmented reality will be the next big computing platform after smartphones in the first place or do you believe we will be staying on smartphones for the next decade? Please tell us your opinion in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you have to say about it. Thank you for watching AI News. We consistently report on the newest technologies that are shaping the future of our world. We'd appreciate you subscribing and watching our other videos. See you around and take care.